Yeah, thank you, Vanessa. Thanks for having me. It's a great pleasure to be here. Of course, English is not my mother language, so I do my best. I hope everybody can understand. And uh, of course, I don't want to be here uh, talking for one hour or so alone. You can talk with me, uh, raise your hand and uh, make some questions. Perhaps Vanessa can support me with that. Yeah, but I hope we can share experience. Yeah. I'm enthusiastic in regards of uh, digital market as well as sales market management and uh, process and project management. So it's a great opportunity to be here. I would like to share with you guys um, a small presentation, right? Uh, regarding <clears throat> uh, a little bit about myself, right? Uh, just to, to give an overview uh, regarding the, my background. And I don't know if you can, can you see my, my screen, right? Is it working? Okay. Yes, perfect. Great. As, perfect. As Vanessa said, I'm a co-founder and a executive director of A Figueiredo. It's a business consulting company. Yeah, I have a, a little bit more than 20 years of experiences. So I had a long journey until we get here. So I had opportunity to see many things, to work in different segments, to work with different people, uh, to work with different uh, disciplines, yeah, especially in regards of a process, project management, quality management, sales and marketing, digital marketing. I work as well as um, a trainer, yeah, consulting, um, as well as uh, uh, as a professor, a lecturer in di uh, several different uh, universities here in São Paulo, Brazil, um, in regards of a different disciplines, yeah. Just to introduce myself, I have a plenty of uh, certificates, you know, as you can see, it's a kind of a hobby. Yeah, I decided that I have nothing better to do than taking certificates, but it's very important for our life, you know, to uh, keep ourselves up to date uh, as well as to share knowledge to people. Yeah, and uh, this part of our continuous improvement to learn you know, always, every day, every second, every time you have an opportunity to exchange um, experience and to, you know, get more knowledge. We are living in a very dynamic uh, market, yeah, and especially in the last 10 years. Uh, so we better keep uh, pushing ourselves and we cannot stop uh, learning and uh, reading and so on. Okay, just to give a, a, a retrospective about my life. So I had the opportunity to cross different types of uh, companies and segments um, until we get today. That's why I collect uh, different disciplines in my background. Uh, started in the uh, industry. Yeah, I worked for a long time in the automotive industry, especially uh, work with quality management and uh, process and project management. I'm a uh, process uh, production engineer and chemistry engineer by by formation you know so um i had this opportunity to learn a lot about that so almost 20 years ago i started studying especially uh subjects connected to project management yeah and after a couple of years working with that uh, portfolio project portfolio management i moved to the commercial department for a specific german company in this automotive segment so there i start having more content in regards of sales, marketing, uh, research, marketing uh, strategy to uh, spread our products in our uh, marketing here in Brazil or in South America, right? So um, in that moment, as an engineer, I start seeing, you know, a different world, a different uh, potentials to, to, you know, to uh, share our products and uh, how to uh, connect with customers but of course in that time uh, it used to be a b2b business right so uh, it's a different approach when we talk about uh, uh, a b2c we will talk about that okay after after a while i moved to an insurance company american insurance company so that i had the opportunity to get in contact with different disciplines especially in regards of uh, uh, software development because we had to build the kind of a uh, platform yeah to sell our insurance right so that was a different type of project i started dealing with yeah and in 2011 we decided to open a startup yeah so then i got more in contact with digital market because uh, in that time it would be so expensive to make uh, offline marketing yeah to 
get people know knowing about our system. Yeah, we made a platform, a complete platform to be installed in the car dealerships, right? And uh, used to be a kind of a work uh, operational system where you have a connection with CRM, with all the R ERP for the, 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 the car dealers. And um, you have it inside of a complete workflow. Right? So um, that was the first time that we had to use the digital market strategy. Of course, in that time, in 2011, yeah, we were you know, in the beginning of some uh, tools and uh, techniques and the, the internet was growing fast here in Brazil, especially after the, the social media and introduction in the marketing. So it was in the beginning. And so uh, we had this opportunity. After that, I moved to the south of Brazil and uh, stopped uh, uh, the direction of a, a big uh, Honda car dealership operation. Uh, so there I stopped uh, using lots of uh, techniques and uh, uh, tools to uh, reach out our uh, customers, yeah, uh, thousands of customers at the, for by month. So we had to, to build our systems, to our digital marketing strategy, to spread our products, you know, to have a workflow to deal with that. So that was a great opportunity. So after uh, some years in the south of Brazil, I moved back to, to Sao Paulo. And I start my operation of uh, Ah Figueiredo. So nowadays we work with different partners, yeah, especially Searchy Prof. But uh, we try to reach out the the market for especially small and middle uh, size companies. Yeah, so we try to bring solutions and different systems, different approaches to a kind of a multidisciplinary approach to support companies by consulting, by trainings, by solutions, by certificates, and so on. Uh, so we work with business consulting, quality management, project management, process management, sales, marketing, right? And regular trainings and certificates. Okay, so... Um, now we start our presentation uh, regarding digital marketing. The material for search profits is amazing. Yeah? It's almost 100 pages. Um, I hope I don't have to go through all these materials. Yeah, So I will try to highlight yeah, the, the more important uh, aspects. But uh, it's an amazing subject. I made uh, some uh, additional slides, okay, Vanessa, in order to give more uh, ideas to, to people. Uh, of course, we, we have here... Uh, people with different skills, yeah, and uh, we are open for different questions. Don't worry about that, yeah. So let's move forward. Eh? Uh, digital mark, yeah. So the, the target here is that digital market professional certificate is nice because it can provide you a detailed understanding of digital market concepts, strategies, implementation, yeah, and then how you bring your product how you bring your service to the market, yeah? It includes lots of strategies, techniques, and tools, uh, such as uh, CEO strategy, CEM strategy, pay-per-click strategy, uh, social media campaigns, retargeting, yeah? And of course, automated uh, tools we have nowadays in the market that are 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we didn't have. So nowadays is the best time to learn about digital marketing. Yeah, there's a big demand, especially here in Brazil, and I know abroad, but here in Brazil, uh, we have a, a, a huge market for that because offline market is so expensive. Yeah, so uh, we have some big trends in the market, like a blockchain, you know, like a social media, like uh, 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 different softwares and uh, systems as a service that we have nowadays. And especially for small companies, middle middle sized companies, and nowadays, of course, big companies. Yeah. Uh, I work more and more uh, for using this uh, techniques and this approach to spread our products, to launch our systems, solutions, service, and so on. Okay, so uh, I think it's super nice initiative, a certain prop to have this um, certificate in the market. And it's always nice to have an opportunity to get this certificate for free now. I don't know for 
how long time, but it's a great moment for you that want to learn a little bit more about that. Uh, regarding CertiProv, yeah, CertiProv is um, a company located in uh, Sunrise, Florida, right? Uh, where the uh, philosophy is based on creation knowledge in the community, yeah? And for this, uh, for this pur uh, purpose, uh, it's collaborative network. It's made by uh, ATPs like uh, our company, yeah, some outdoors, uh, internal staff. So all the people uh, connected and collaborated in order to improve your knowledge. So have operations in India, in Brazil, yeah, where we are nowadays, Colombia, in the United States. So as a huge community that is growing so fast. And there's uh, some accreditations and affiliations, yeah, that assure the commitment and the effort of the uh, CertiProv team to bring you more and better contact and nice certificates in order to improve your life, to improve your career, yeah, and how you develop your affairs. So lifelong learning, yeah, as I was talking about before, that we have to keep pushing ourselves, we not, never stop learning as i said as i finished my graduation uh in 1998 so um i never started so much in my life like nowadays of course i i work with different disciplines different segments so i have to push myself but uh, this is something that is part of our lives nowadays and uh, we have to keep learning and keep push ourselves so uh, if you are getting a certificate from CertiPro for the first time, you can get this badge on lifelong learning. Yeah, continuous learner. Yeah, this is a nice opportunity. As well as you can have now uh, the digital market professional certificate by CertiPro, which is a great opportunity. And I hope that we can uh, share a little bit of our experience to you and to support you to get this certificate. So at once you can have a two yeah, certificates uh, by CertiProv. So today we are talking about a little bit about uh, digital market overview, key concepts, lead generation, search and marketing, digital display advertising, user experience and usability, email marketing, social media marketing, retargeting uh, or remarketing. Yeah, we have this, uh, this difference. Uh, recap, track and measure, and I have as well some uh, additional slides that um, can show some uh, strategy, especially in regards of uh, product and service launching, yeah? And uh, to give you an idea, the potentials that we have uh, using uh, digital marketing strategies, yeah, digital marketing tools, uh, which are basically uh, much cheaper when we compare with offline. So we can combine this both strategy to spread our products, our services to the market, yeah? Great, so we're giving an overview. Digital market is the promotion and advertising of brands delivered through digital channels to connect with potential customers using internet and tools of digital communication like email, web-based advertising, mobile apps, and social media. So all the efforts, all the tools, all the techniques you use to get in touch with your uh, uh, customer or your user or a prospect, yeah, we can uh, classify as a um, digital market, yeah. So it's a combination of uh, different techniques, yeah, in order to bring more customer, to bring lead leads and uh, uh, prospect to your company. So we have so many different types of techniques that we can combine them. We can try to. Uh, separate the most effective to your business or depending on your limitations, you can choose some techniques. But nowadays we have so many systems, so many possibilities to reach out to the new, uh, the new customers that uh, we have to have a, at least a plan. I always say that it's better to have a plan than have a none. Yeah, a bad plan than have a none. But uh, nowadays we have so many opportunities now, especially in regards of our internet. Uh, this new world yeah, is combining of uh, so many uh, possibilities like uh, SEO strategies in order to get organic um, user to uh, your website, right? Like say, you can always um, use pay-per-click strategy, SEM, in order to bring videos, display ads, 
CRM uh, softwares like Salesforce or HubSpot and so many others we have in the market, uh, use an email marketing strategy, uh, automatic uh, email marketing, I can show you some examples, uh, social media, right? And uh, of course, in the f- near future, yeah, we are talking about the metaverse. Yeah, so uh, many, many things is going to change. Mobile device, everybody nowadays uh, keep your face in the mobile. So we have always to think about usability. Yeah, in order to 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 have a uh, the customer a better experience. Uh, getting touching with our websites or applications. Uh, offline media, of course, that nowadays we still have that this, this approach. Yeah, we will continue, especially here in Brazil, is incredible because less and less people watch TV. Yeah, so, uh, but people thought that uh, the radio would uh, fall yeah, and disappear from the market. But nowadays, the radios, they use the internet, right? And the social media is, uh, to support their uh, publications and the programs. And uh, uh, so they are improving their uh, users, yeah, the, the audience, uh, much more than the TVs. As uh, we have to try to keep the, uh, our brand as a top of mind or word of mouth. Yeah, he received say top of mind, yes, in order to become a kind of a reference, yeah. In, Perhaps the, the, the customers can advocate our brand to other people. Yeah? We have several success companies uh, which uh, use lots of a digital marketing strategy. Here are some uh, small examples, but we, nowadays we can have uh, examples like consulting companies, like uh, uh, digital marketing uh, approach to spread uh, system as a service. We have a uh, uh, lots of uh, blogs. We have a uh, different uh, strategies of uh, email marketing to reach the the users. So nowadays, big companies are using these strategies. Yeah, and uh, it's cheaper, it's more effective. You can have a metrics much more than the regular offline marketing strategy. So uh, there's a great opportunity for the future to keep studying. Uh, and de- develop yourself and this kind of uh, discipline. Um, of course, here we have, uh, for example, the business model canvas. Yeah, so uh, it's a nice approach. And we have a, at such prof, a new uh, certificate regarding that. Yeah, but of course, we can combine some different ca- types of uh, canvas. Yeah, we can use, for example, uh, the problem and opportunity canvas. We can use the persona canvas. We can use uh, the um, empathy canvas right we can use the project model canvas as well as the business model canvas everything uh, to support you yeah in order to plan better your uh, campaign which is a project right where we can combine with different process because it doesn't matter uh, when you have a, a nice campaign and then you don't have a process to deal with the deal leads, to deal with the prospects, and the, finally the customers. Perhaps you can have a problems with logistics. So it's always nice when you have a, um, a overview regarding your project, yeah, of your campaign. So um, the Canvas technique, uh, the Canvas method, is a great uh, tool in order to uh, aggregate your team in order to spread the knowledge, to make visual the, the information, yeah, and to, to commit people and your team with what we have to do, yeah. We have to think about our target audience, right? This is the beginning of everything. We have to define um, the type of customer that we have to, we are trying to reach. That's why I gave, for example, the, the, the opportunity to use the persona canvas as well as the empathy canvas because it helps you to define your target. Yeah. So we can perhaps uh, define a kind of a avatar. Yeah. To help you to figure out what's the, you know, the requirements, the, what they want, what they are looking for, what their uh, background dem- matters regarding demographic is, uh, what they, like 
what the what kind of uh, uh, social media they use yeah so it's uh, it's important uh, to have in mind that uh, the other side you have uh, people yeah you have to deal with people yeah it's not machine you know you have a you can have automatic approach but in the end of the day we are dealing with people yeah so you you better empathize with them right so um, we have some different phase to develop our strategy like awareness uh, how to to create uh, interest the considerations the context points you have uh, you have to have uh, uh, the uh, sales uh, structure like a uh, e-commerce, a store, a website, a prepared location to, you know, convert this prospect or this lead. Yeah. Then you have to keep uh, the retention of this customer by community forums. Yes. FAQ knowledge base, a place where we have a, a possibility to keep the community interacting with them we are providing more information providing more products more solutions yeah and to all this effort is to uh, have a people advocating support you to spread your product to spread your solution your system to the market yeah throughout the promotions blogs social networks newsletters so they help you in order to put the cost down. So uh, you have uh, uh, people that like your brand. They want to be in touch. Yeah. And uh, because it costs too much money to sell to someone, yeah, to a company or to a customer, final client. And then you, you know, you don't keep this in the company. So we have to spend all this money, this effort one more time to reach a new one. So it's much cheaper to keep your customer that conquer a new one. Yeah? So uh, if you, we don't care about all these different phases, yeah, all these different techniques, and uh, uh, finally you expend a lot of money and time, and perhaps in the long term, you don't have a, a good uh, result, okay? Some key concepts and uh, the contact market uh, contact market is very important because um, you have to have uh, different possibilities to be found in the market uh, you have to have a, a how can I say a full footstep in all places all digital aspects uh, in the, on the internet so the contact market is a form of marketing focus on creating publishing and distributing content for a target audience online it's often used by business in order to attract attention and generate leads expand their customer base increase online sales increase brand awareness or credibility engage an online community. So the content like videos, like a podcast, like ebooks, like uh, your presence uh, with tips uh, on social media, yeah, the all this kind of a contact and news letters and blogging keep uh, the engagement with the community and support you to have uh, uh, customers, yeah, loyal customers and to support them to advocate your brand in the market yeah blogs and we talk about blogs for a long time yeah? but uh, of course we can have nowadays also some podcast blog or something like this yeah? short videos nowadays in a daily basis from youtube or from uh, some podcast that is super uh, effective especially here in brazil yeah? so blogs began a simple online diaries on journals and are the combination of words web and log what began a basic journal for many people has turned into a powerful marketing tool for business yeah uh, so for strong uh, brands in the market they use it yeah? especially perhaps they don't call a blog anymore perhaps the newsletters or news or whatever the, the the reason is always the same yeah so 55% of the market worldwide have increased their digital market budget. So it's a big movement nowadays, and it's going to be much more if we believe in internet will be present for the next day, decade. Yeah. If we believe that the social media will be here, perhaps in not 2D, but the 3D by metaverse. Of course, 
the companies will, will spend a lot of money with that. It's as a huge uh, increasing market in front of us. 80% of traffic to a website begins with a search query, okay? Rather than typing your company name in direct. So people will search for product, for solution, for a system, whatever. And then if you don't have a strategy, a SEO or a SEM strategy, for of course, you are out of the market. Yeah, Companies with active blogs receive 97% more leads. It's amazing. Yeah, 97%. Why? Because you keep the presence in the market. You keep the engagement with your community. You keep the contact with your users, your leads, your prospects, your clients. Yeah. So uh, you keep providing information uh, and it, of course, it will bring a new business, new opportunities, and her, uh, recurring purchases for your current uh, customer. Businesses are generating more leads and sales online than ever before. 21% of small business websites publish one to five pages per month. Of course, it's a challenge yeah, to generate uh, contact, yeah, but... Um, uh, you will get your reward if you do so, okay? Especially when you spread your presence throughout the internet, yeah? Podcast, yeah. I don't sleep without a podcast, yeah? I don't watch TV anymore, yeah? Um, normally, I use YouTube. I watch all my videos in YouTube or when I have patience, I will watch a film or whatever, yeah? But normally, podcasts, day in, day out, during the night, I cannot sleep without listening to a podcast. So if you want to get me as a customer, you have to have a podcast. I try by myself to do it, but it consumes a lot of time. But uh, it's a very effective way uh, to engage people. Yeah? Because think like this. If I sleep listening a uh, podcast from someone, for sure, I will consume something from this person or this company. That's why it's so important to have uh, this kind of uh, touching point with your uh, customer. Yeah? Podcast is a series of episodes recorded in audio or transmit online. Yeah, They are recorded in different formats, such as interviews, individual or group recording with ver uh, various hosts. So uh, I say I... I watch a lot of YouTube programs, yeah, but uh, normally I search for the same program in the podcast. So I keep listening while I work and while I'm doing my things or while I try to sleep, you know, uh, always the podcast. So that's what I said. The two, nowadays, at least for me and for a lot of people, it's too important. Nowadays, we have famous programs that have a, a podcast uh, channels. The, poor, the purpose of a podcast, when adopting a digital marketing strategy, a company must stay updated on how to adapt to its customers' behavior, objectives, and needs. As we said before, podcasts are a multifunctional tool which adapts easily. And this is fast because you have you have opportunity to record or to podcast uh, to broadcast online yeah so you don't need to have a videos you need to have a fact and then we need to have a infrastructure you have a only to record and spread a word, your interviews or whatever. So we can have interviews, we can have informative podcasts, we can have a panel, we have a individual people spreading their information, their strategies, their products or whatever. Yeah, so uh, there's always opportunity to uh, keep your presence in, in the market. Yeah? Of course, you have to have the minimal structure, but you can prepare yourself before. You have a pre-recorded aspect teaser, introduction, uh, music, a welcome, ad spot, interviews, call to action, or whatever, yeah? Uh, the minimum infrastructure, yeah? And of course, you have to have objectives, yeah? Especially uh, objectives and key results, yeah? For everything in digital markets, yeah? Because if you don't have objectives, if you don't have uh, key results, for sure, you don't have a budget, you don't have a planning, you don't have a forecast, you know. So, consequently, you don't have a metrics, yeah? so you don't track your actions, right? So, in the end of the day, you don't manage anything, yeah? So, in the beginning of everything, you have to have objectives, yeah? Uh, you have to determine your target audience, and as we said before, yeah, try to define your persona. Yeah, try to define to empathize with this persona. 
yeah what do you what they expect from you yeah otherwise you don't engage people choose the type of podcast yeah interview or you are going to uh, talk about a specific discipline you will teach people uh, whatever define what will be the identity of the podcast the name logo yeah and the duration and the frequency it's very important to keep contacting your audience with uh, new material yeah nowadays we have a lot of um, uh, systems that support uh, the hosting of your your podcast yeah but basically i use two or three in a maximum okay video making as well as podcast but of course you have to have a more structure for that you have to have equipment perhaps light perhaps microphone you have to have a, a more edition yeah but um, as i said before i it's privately i don't watch tv anymore i prefer to use uh, video yeah to watch video on youtube or vimeo and uh, it's a great opportunity to keep in touch with your audience yeah and this kind of uh, for example this uh, training we are having or this uh, web webinar we are having is a good uh, contact option to get in touch with your customer yeah your audience benefits clarity engage the users yeah simplicity memorable contact positioning and web traffic it all brings um how can i say uh opportunities to increase your base of leads as well as your prospects yeah uh, of course um we can have a different formats corporate video yeah advertise a video demonstration videos yeah testimonials video tutorials especially when you are talking about system as a service as i i work a lot with that so when you you can have uh, so many records of uh, different functionalities you know how to uh, introduce a system uh, to your business your process your project or whatever yeah video blogs uh, the format I, I said to you before that uh, uh, it's nice to to in nowadays for example we have a uh, lot of people that uh, make a kind of a collection of uh, news in the market and they read to you and explain and finally they give you their opinion regarding the, the different uh, news that we have in the market yeah uh, video events yeah okay great uh, with current technology it's possible to record professional videos easier so nowadays you can use your mobile nowadays you can use your computer your laptop or if you have a, a professional camera Okay, uh, the important thing is that if you want to keep the audience uh, engaged, yeah, frequency is important, and I think more than your infrastructure, okay? People want to listen to you. People want you to have your information, your feedback, your opinion, yeah? So it's, that's more important than infrastructure. It's better when you start doing that with... Uh, low uh cost material than doing nothing yeah and that's in the end of the day that's what I, I would like to say video marketing platforms of course youtube video igtv and instagram and tiktok i don't have a tiktok but uh the the new generation is using a lot yeah so uh, this is the main possibility we have in the in the market yeah uh, some tips yeah focus on stories not sales yeah when you try to say to sell every time you know perhaps people get tired of you you know they you know you miss their attention so uh, it's better when you think about the contact and uh, when you try to keep contact with the people yeah create hook yeah use it the first seconds wisely because people tend to leave your video in the first seconds yeah if you don't get engaged with your contact with you study your audience and target your content to them as we said before, prepare uh, your persona canvas, the empathy canvas, study a lot to your audience, try to make some research. Yeah, include a call to action in your video. But as I said before, uh, take care yeah, to avoid trying to sell 
every moment yeah perhaps you leave that for the end of your video or you know put in the the description some uh, possibilities to purchase something yeah keywords and descriptions are uh, everything yeah you will have to think about um always about the seo strategy yeah search engine optimization so you have to think about the keywords and everything you say you know speech the message the description yeah in order to keep the audience uh, engaged yeah so inbound marketing is all actions all workflow you have to attract to convert to close and to excite to keep your audi audience throughout the social medias uh smart call to actions yeah your workflow uh your process workflow yeah because uh, especially working in the retailers and uh, we start making you know several uh initiatives in digital market and uh, we reach out thousands of people per month yeah but if you don't know how to convert if you don't have a, a prepared team to get in touch with these customers, with these new leads or new prospects, to convert them in prospect, and finally to close the business with them, or by a face-to-face -face negotiation, or if you can convert your customer in your site, convince them to purchase something through our uh, attractive landing page and in a very clear call to action. Uh, tools yeah so you will expend a lot of money you will expend a lot of time you are generate contact you will generate interesting by these people and then you don't know how to close it yeah so uh, that's why i'm saying you have to care about all aspects of this workflow in order to have a good results okay uh content curation that's a uh, example of what i said before some blogs or some uh video casts uh, working a lot on that, collecting news in the marketing, and then every day they give an overview about what's going on, and especially about their opinion about that. I listen, I watch a lot of this kind of a content, okay? Because of course we nowadays we don't have the time, you know, to read everything or to search everything. So when we find someone that can do it for you, you know, and and in a nice way in a quality way okay so uh, we keep doing that yeah um we have our sales funnel yeah awareness interaction interest action of course here we yeah, have a funnel because normally you spread your brand throughout thousands of people yeah it just a small percentage will come uh, to become a lead and the smaller to become a prospect yeah finally you have to have a techniques teams or um, a prepared landing page to convert this uh, for the customer and uh, in the client okay um, lead generation yeah that's what we were talking about the lead funnel yeah so uh, we do all our efforts uh, uh, to generate a great amount of leads but as i said before we have to know what to do with them yeah uh, in order to convert in the prospect and finally to bring it uh, to a, a hot lead or a customer right um, a landing page prepared to receive especially a landing page uh, where the customer cannot escape from this landing page yeah uh, it's nice because uh, you can try to convince by the keywords by your argumentation your rhetoric uh, to make the customer uh, find out your call to action and finally to purchase your product your solution your system or whatever yeah i will stop a little bit here uh, vanessa uh, perhaps we have some uh, questions okay uh, seo sem what's the difference between them yeah we can have these two approaches yeah seo search engine optimization all your effort in order to improve your page or website or whatever uh to be found by the the search engines yeah like a google for example like a youtube yeah uh it costs you a lot of time a lot of techniques but in the long term 
it's much better yeah because all these systems all these robots they uh keep showing your brand keep showing your product your service and the search engine for free right so uh, on the serp yeah, the search engine results page and when you go to google for example you type a keyword so in the first page of the result is the serp so you can be in a higher position for free it's not for free because you know you use a lot of time to improve your seo from your uh, content from your website for your landing page yeah or at the same time you can pay per click so you can uh, make a campaign on the google ads right so in order to make the the system to show to your customer so when you go to google when you take a look you enter a keyword you appear the first page all right so normally the three or four positions in the top positions are paid right so every time someone click on that you pay for google uh, uh, to have this uh, for example this uh, the customer this user going through your site your landing page so this all these two approaches are important because uh, you can have different results right but uh, in the long term of course it's better to keep your seo strategy and continuously improve your website okay so where uh, to to work with that website analysis keyword search competitive analysis website optimization social media integration blog submission, press release, article submission, directory uh, submission, quality link building. So all these aspects, right, you have to care in order to have a, a good strategy for SEO. You never stop doing that because your competitors, they never stop as well. So when you finish your website improvement, for example, yeah, uh, make sure that your competitor will do the same yeah so it's a it's a big fight in order to get the attention by this uh, engine search and to be ranked in a higher position right cpc or cost per click or ppc or pay per click means advertises pay each time a user clicks on the ad right cpc advertising works well when advertisers want to visitors to go to their sites of course that's uh, when it's a kind of a uh, uh, how can I say it's a score? You have a score, and eh? when the when you the, the, does it mean that when you pay the Google to appear in the site that you, you will be in the first position? You have to have a, a nice landing page. You have to have a good contact. Yeah, you have to have a track record when people come to your site. They stay for a long, longer time. They have different sections, clicking and stuff, reading stuff. They purchase. So, for example, in our website, uh, we have uh, trainings, we have a uh, products, we have a uh, service, we have a solution, we have a certificates. So, every product that has a higher uh, result, a landing page with a higher result, normally is better ranked on the Google uh, on the Google SERP. Right, uh, so it doesn't matter if you pay or not. Of course, when you pay, you boost your presence on the system, right? So you can uh, define the audience, you can define your region, you, you want to spread your brand. Uh, but if you don't pay, yeah, if you have a good landing page, if you have a good content, if you have a good a track record, normally Google will place you in the higher positions, all right? Uh, display. Uh, advertising is nice because <clears throat> uh, better than only the search when you go to Facebook, when you go to Instagram, you appear, you can appear uh, or in the, uh, the SERP or Google, uh, your label, when you visit the blog, when you, you know, there's a matter where you go, you can have this displays. Yeah, it's a good touching point with, with customer. Right, and it, it always bring good results. Other point that we have to care about is the usability. You have to take care yeah, when, when you build a, a website or a landing page to check up where, how it uh, looks in different uh, equipment like a mobile or um, or uh, <clears throat> different uh, laptops, yeah, different size. So uh, we have to have a responsive design. 
right? We have to care about that. Otherwise, if you the customer, your customer cannot find out the buttons, the call to action buttons, you know, they leave it and stay a little uh, shorter time in your site, yeah, or your landing page, the for sure it, uh, make your life difficult because uh, the search engine will stop showing you your brand to the to the customers, okay? Uh, affiliate marketing is a good approach also that, you know, you can bring some people or some companies to support you to spread your brand, your products or your solutions to the customers. Yeah? I have, for example, some trainings in the hot, uh, hot mark. Uh, and so I have some dozens some of affiliates. So it help, helps you a lot, you know, because they advocate your product, you know, to their customers. Yeah? So we have to have a better conversion uh, in regards to our product. Email you marked, yeah. Uh, of course, nowadays we have to care about uh, the legal aspect of that, yeah. Only you should uh, send emails only for people that want to receive your emails, okay. But nowadays it's still a great uh, possibility. Of course, per day I receive dozens or perhaps hundreds of emails that I don't like. And so it goes to, to immediately to spam box but uh, uh, especially when we have a visit in your site when they leave uh, some products in the cart yeah uh, or you, people download an ebook i have lots of uh, ebooks so people download the ebook and allow you to get in touch by email it's good to have automate workflow a uh, sequence of email in order to get in touch with people uh, is still a great possibility. Yeah? It's a great strategy yeah, to sell products, to generate new leads, to drive site traffic, right? to drive brand awareness, to gain customer insight, improve retention because you keep the, in touch with people, especially with newsletters. Right, when new products, you make people uh, aware about your new product or solution, yeah, uh, provide service uh, and support, yeah. But first of all, you have to care about your uh, list, yeah, you have to create a list, yeah? comply with all legal requirements. So that's why I said that when you capture these uh, leads, your the email of these people uh, must be clear that uh, they allow you to get in touch, they allow you to send an email to them, um, and of course, uh, when you start your campaigns, is always important, as well as uh, the definition of audience when you're doing a campaign on uh, Google Ads or Facebook Ads or whatever, yeah, uh, to try to separate the interest audience by your email uh, customers, right? So. Um, providing a segmentation yeah? so email list segmentation is an email marketing technique where you segment or split your subscriber list so for example in our case i figured out that we have a different um, different uh, products we have a different uh, solutions to customers so i have to take care about uh, what to send to who yeah so we, when we make this kind of segmentation it's important to reach the right people, yeah. Deliverability, so always important to have a, a system uh, to support you. And nowadays we have many, many systems to support you to deliver this um, emails to your customer, yeah. And uh, of course we have to take care with um, the law, yeah. The anti-span laws that we have here in Brazil is getting harder and harder. But anyway, we keep receiving dozens or hundreds of emails that you don't want. I don't know how it's going to be in the future. Yeah, but uh, we have to care about that. Yeah, in order to avoid having problems. Huh? Let me see. Um, I said regarding the automation. Yeah, so we always have to think about that. And nowadays we have so many tools to do that. So to automate your email marketing, your landing page, your campaign, marketing programs, lead generation. You have to have a workflows, right? Nowadays, I've been working a lot with uh, process uh, management systems or work operational systems in order to make all these automations uh, or at least to make this 
uh, workflows trackable. Yeah, as I said before, it doesn't matter you the amount of leads you generate. If you don't have a process, if you don't have a team, if you don't have an infrastructure to deal with these customers or for their customers, uh, you will expend a lot of money for nothing. Yeah. So nowadays we have so many solutions that can uh, support you with that. Um, social media. So nowadays the presence in social media, you know, is a kind of a mandatory. So which social medias? I don't know, Facebook, Instagram. Oh, okay, Facebook nowadays, my mother likes, my mother-in-law likes a lot, but uh, that's it. And uh, But for the future, I can see that all techniques, all uh, development we have on the internet, the blockchain and so on, all will be converted to the metaverse. Yeah, when we think about the future, if you want to be up to date and to be able to deal with this market, you have to have uh, general knowledge about everything, especially in regards of uh, uh, the future of a social media. Yeah, which is the, of course, the metaverse, uh, at least in my opinion. Yeah, turning fans into buyers. Yeah, this is a challenge. So all companies are trying to get fans. Yeah, especially, especially uh, systems. Yeah, when they have to, uh, they fight a lot for the market. Nowadays, uh, as I told you, I work with many types of systems, and they fight each other to reach out the same audience. Yeah, and to convert not only the the, the buyers and uh, the customers, but as well as the employees. So. We have to have a, a end of market as well. And I have to make, first of all, if you cannot convince your employee, if you cannot convince your team that you have a great brand, a great product, or you are a great company, yeah, how can you convince someone to buy your product or your solution? Yeah. So the end of market is very important because, first of all, you have to convince the people internally that's good products, a good system. So digital market can support it a lot as well. Yeah. So after that, you start having your first your employees to advocate your brand to the market. Yeah. It's a good opportunity to train, you know, to test some techniques internally as well. Yeah. So turning fans into buyers is a cheaper way to get engaged with people yeah? and to convince that to keep purchasing your products. Yeah. Tools for many small business, it's a real challenge to manage and program several corporate social networks account simultaneously yeah as i told you nowadays you have to have a presence in so many different platforms so many social medias yeah so if you have not uh, the minimum of uh, uh, tools and systems to support you yeah? you have a lot of problems yeah so uh, even the small companies nowadays can reach lots of uh, people yeah for example even when you are working in the consulting if you're engineering small company if you're i don't know a lawyer or a dentist or whatever yeah you can still reach out lots of people i have a customer for example they work with um uh, plastic surgery yeah and uh, make a, a good presence in the market and especially on instagram uh it brings lots of uh, new uh, leads and uh, prospects uh, to to his business right uh, due to the the presence in the marketing yeah so but it gives a lot of work to plan you know to create posts to create videos and uh, to yeah, to generate interest and to engage people. So, but uh, nowadays we have so many tools that can support you with that. Yeah. So here we have in the material some uh, uh, example of that. Okay. Then you can go throughout. I don't know, but I say if you people will get uh, uh, material for that after uh, after our our uh, they have a season on the site. Yeah. Yeah, so the idea, me? yes, I can hear you. <laughs> so the yeah, idea great. is um, once we finish the TTT session, we will be editing yeah. the video and we'll be, we will be sharing on our um, YouTube channel and our website as well so everyone can see. Oh, yeah, great. Retargeting or remarketing. Yes, there's some uh, techniques that you keep in touch, for example, especially remarketing yeah, when people go to your landing page or site and they leave a product in the cart 
And uh, so you can make the system to reach out, say, hey, you, you left some product in the cart, they're not interested to close the business, so on. So it's a strategy. Or when you are expending money in your Google Ads campaigns, right? So uh, you can turn in the system, define some rules for the retargeting the audience that visited your site before. Yeah, it's a good technique because you keep in touch with people that are interested in your product, in your service, right? And uh, you expend less money because you already have this data on the system of thousands of people that visit your site. And, uh, and of course, if they enter your site, your landing page, because they are interested on that, right? So it's a good strategy to get in touch with people, eh? and especially some companies that work professionally and has a lot of money on this uh, digital marketing strategy. Yeah? Uh, when you search for a product or a specific product or a specific brand, then when you change the platform, when you change the social media, it tracks you and it goes behind you. Yeah? It's, uh, sometimes it's boring, yeah? but if you don't clean up the cooks, uh, you, the brand will appear, continues to appear until you purchase. Yeah? But uh, it's a... It's a it's a good strategy because uh, when you are uh, using this technique, uh, retargeting and remarketing, you expend less money, right? Uh, recap, okay, sitemap, have to think about that when you build your website, yeah? How you define, how you make your uh, usability and navigability of your website. So important to, to have a, a, a easy workflow right in order to convert your user to a customer right and uh, i would like uh, uh, to show some additional some additional uh, slides here from my material just a second please i will turn the presentation to the other one because um, uh, can you see now right yes yes okay um, I have in the material, I can uh, provide you later uh, by a link in Google Drive, brief I have, some additional information yeah? when you have to define some diagram of a uh, you know, digital solution when you think about making a campaign, yeah? which social media, how you are going to approach uh, the customer yeah? and how, how many effort you want to put in all this strategy because doesn't matter the size of your company you have a limited resource or money or people to work with you so it's good when you think about that right some aspects you have to think about the strategy objectives objectives that can results yeah budget process teams technology uh, logistics right and of course in the end of the day the customer satisfaction here we have some uh, canvas that i mentioned them before like uh, Persona Canvas, Empathy Map Canvas, Design Thinking Canvas, yeah, uh, business, business Plan Canvas, I have created this one. Yeah, Project Model Canvas in order to support the planning of your project, yeah, your campaign, right? And I create as well a canvas regarding sales and market or digital markets, so where you can... Uh, uh, you know, set up because normally uh, the companies have many, many campaigns. For when I was in the retail marketing, uh, we used to have a, a campaign by week. So it's complicated when you have lots of information, lots of products or service provided to the max. So when you have a, a kind of a war room where you can organize all this canvas, yeah, is much more uh, practical, is much more uh, visual, yeah, and you engage your team to think about that, right? We can have some different types of launch, yeah. When we're launching a product, when you launch a service, yeah, or when you are creating a, a startup, right? So we can have a seed launch, internal launch, external launch, job venture launch, lighting launch, perpetual launch. So in this material, I put some uh, additional information uh, how you can prepare your campaign what kind of things you have to care about, like some decisions, planning, research, definition, systems, the content like ebooks, video casts, podcasts, uh, social media posts, posts uh, website, articles, or 
blogs, right? How you are going to uh, perform your trap, like uh, your old list, yeah, or thirty part list, like uh, announcements, followers, the landing page to capture the leads. That must be objective, clean. Uh, have to have a, 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 a key link call to action, right? Uh, the planning regards of an email, the sequence of email, the content, yeah, and the copywriting of your emails, preparation of webinars, like we are doing nowadays, right? Uh, videos, different kind of videos, you know, all aspects you have to care about your campaign to prepare yourself to launch. Here as well, you have a sequence, like a planning, the briefing, canvas, action definition, creation of contact, digital uh, hook, uh, landing page, workshops or webinars, yeah, landing page, the ads strategy in Google ads, Facebook, Instagram ads, uh, the copyright for everything, for the ebooks, for the uh, posts, for the landing page, for your website, for your ebooks, whatever, right? Uh, the art of all the things the production of all videos, the ad campaigns, yeah, prepare and launch the ad campaigns, the funnel of sales yeah, with systems, prepare. And of course, you have to uh, verify the metrics. That's why I saw I, I said regarding uh, objectives and key results. And here I made a, a graph of uh, just to, to, to show uh, the different possibilities of traffic we have to your landing page where you have you can have some uh, digital hooks like ebooks or a webinar and a page to capture these uh, leads a sequence of emails to support that right and then the sequence you can have a, a here a sequence of emails uh, try to to get more and more attention uh, to your audience yeah the the sequence of from landing page how you perform the sale, the content, your if you are say, selling a training or whatever a system, uh, satisfaction, yeah. So all, all aspects you have to care about when you have a, a new product launch, launch or a perpetual. I have also some uh, perpetual launch, uh, so some products or service that is all in, online. Okay, so you have to have this automated. Uh, funnel, and here a framework uh, is an easy framework to launch a new company, to launch a new uh, startup, or to launch a new product or service in the market. So we have some business analysis phase after the lean startup, where you develop the product, right, or develop the business, uh, and then finally the growth hacking uh, phase. When you launch, you define the the persona, yeah, the all that aspect that we care have to care about, and then finally you have to take care about the metrics, right, and the continuous improvement. It's uh, additional material, and uh, I think that's it, Vanessa. Thank you so much, Alexandre. Thank you. Very interesting information shared today um, and a lot of knowledge we gained um, from this presentation. Um, as mentioned previously, um, if people have questions, they could write them down on the chat. We do have some questions at the moment. Um, let me just read them out. Okay, so we have one question that says... Um, according to the according to the marketing tree, social networks are not the only way to promote my product and connect with potential customers. No, it's not the only way. You can use, for example, Google Ads, right? You don't. Of course, that normally uh, the customer uh, when you have a, when you have a campaign in Google Ads, they want to see your presence in the market yeah so when you have a social media yeah and the people see oh this company exists you know they have a presence they have a followers they have a people that like the post and so on uh, i think makes uh, the decision easier the customer side you know so it's better it's better having a presence yeah 
Perfect. Um, we have another question. What is the FAQ knowledge base? Uh, FAQ? What was that? Yes, FAQ knowledge base. What is the FAQ knowledge base? Oh, this is, uh, you know, when you have in your side some uh, questions, pre-made pre -made questions and answers, yeah? It helps a lot because some people want to know a little bit more about your product, your solution. So you have uh, already some pre-made questions and answers, yeah? I, I think it's that. Yeah? It's... Yes, um, frequently right. asked questions. Yes, um, exactly. <laughs> which tools for automation process do you recommend, Alexandre? Oh, there's a lot, uh, you know. I think if you are, if you have a small business, for example, I use um, Wix platform for my site, for my emails, campaigns, for the automations, because it's easier for me. We are a small size company. Yeah, I don't have a, lots of a structure. But nowadays we have a HubSpot, we have a MailChain, we have, I don't know, so many systems. We have, for example, I work a lot with Monday.com, with PipeFi, you know, so many systems that can support you to automate all the process, not only the campaigns, but all the process, you know, you have internally in your company. So uh, using some uh, systems will help you a lot. Yeah. Especially in regards of uh, email marketing campaigns. Yeah.